move on to our next competitor who hails from France. This is David Ronaldo. Yeah, Ronaldo's got so much style. You know, right side up tricks, I, he's probably one of my favorite guys. Nice vario right there. That, he's coming out swinging. You know, he was a little nervous when I talked to him after practice. Said it was a fun course to ride, but a really challenging course to put a run together. But so far, he's looking great. It was an excellent shot there on the overhead cam of the rock solid. David Ronaldo coming out swinging. He came out with some heat and some fire there early on in that run. Puts together a full 75 seconds. And Harry's always a wild one to watch. You never know what to expect out of this guy. Nice one-handed neck back foot there to start off. I kind of always like when you haven't competed in a while, starting with you know two or three tricks that you know you're comfortable with. You don't want to come out with something big, mess it up, blow your whole run. Oh, oh that was massive. <laughs> massive. So another double backflip. So you get two double backflips. Coming in hot. In Coming in hot. Oh, <laughs> no. Harry, he's out in the poison oak. Of course. Oh, man. He, he had a good run going there. Just a little under rotated on the double flip. He was the youngest to land a double backflip on a motorcycle. He did that in October of 2017 at the ripe old age of 19. Luke's such a fun rider to watch. He's still a young kid. He goes for it. This is exactly what everyone likes to watch about him. The flattest 360 that's ever been done. It's it's not such a, a flip style three. He kind of just slides the bike off the ramp and so far looking solid. Luke going up to the super kicker right here. Massive double flip. First guy to utilize the quarter. And he's the first rider to score into the 90s. The best possible run score you can get is 100. And Luke Ackerman finds himself at the top of the leaderboard. We move on to Taka Higashino out of Japan. There's the first rider to hit our 105 ramp. As you can see, how much more commitment that takes. Watching Taka kind of flow around this course, you can definitely see that he's been around a long time. Nice no-handed flip coming in. He's landing everything real smooth, too, which is what I like. I'm sure the judges will reward that a bit. He's actually going to squeeze in two more, so Taka line it up and end it on the Cordova flip right there, and that is going to do it for Japan's Taka Higashino. Josh Sheehan is an absolute powerhouse. Yeah, Sheehan's one of those guys I really feel like he can attack this course. He did look great as well yesterday. Nice no-handed Superman into a three. That's a good combo. Huge kiss of death flip coming back down the hill. You can see him adjusting those levers up for the KOD flip down to to line up what maybe a double flip. And you call it here it comes once, twice around, so puts that one. I mean, it's, he makes those look effortless. He really does. You know, and here we go again using the using the quarter, getting the flare in. Boosted that flare off that quarter. That was a nice little combo yeah, right there. Awesome combo. He pieced it together well. And Luke Ackerman, your current leader with a 92.33, followed by Josh Sheehan and David Ronaldo. We welcome back in Taka Higashino for his second and final run. Yeah, Taka coming out solid again. That was a rock solid backflip over the 105 footer. I can't tell you how scary that is. Huge Cordova flip over the 105. I like how he did utilize the 105 a lot. That's cool because it is a newer ramp and you can tell some of the guys are kind of trying to avoid it. So for him to hit it twice in his run, uh, I think that was some bonus points. I mean, he's looking at a silver medal as of right now. I mean, he gets so far off the bike. You know, he has, he has great extension and he has a lot of confidence. You can see him. He doesn't look lost in his run. He doesn't look, you know, notchy. He's going good. He's hitting everything he wants. Using that quarter, one of two riders to use it. Once again, loved his run. Good variety, had some right side up tricks in there, some huge flip tricks, the 360, the double bags. He looked great, one of the few riders right now putting a full run down this course. Well, with one rider left to go, we know that Luke Ackerman's gonna get a medal. We know that Josh Sheehan's gonna get a medal. David Ronaldo sits in the bubble. Your defending champ from Minneapolis 2019. He is the last rider to go. He finds himself in the number six position. It all comes down to this final 75 seconds for Rob Adelberg. Rob's just got to believe in himself right here. He has all the tricks. He, he knows he has the run. Get that varial off clean. That's one trick that's probably weighing on his mind. And now just let her rip. And he's got it. Kiss a dad flip into a uh, indie flip. You know, that's pretty hard. He's linking two combos together, shifting gears, and hitting the 105-foot ramp. Front flip, no hander, second front flip in his run. Stoked for Rob to put down a run on, the, on this course. These guys, like I said, aren't used to it. The last three to four years, they've just kind of had a circle track. So this one definitely weighed into him a little bit. Nice front flip, Matt coming back down the hill to end his run. And there we go. Rob Adelberg is going to make it onto the podium. He's going to get a bronze, but that means that gentleman right there, Luke Ackerman, is going to walk out of here with Moto X Freestyle Gold.